And former IEBC Commissioner Rosalind Akombe now says political interference in the IEBC's work has rendered the electoral body dysfunctional. Speaking to the Daily Nation from New Jersey in the U.S., Dr. Akombe says a clique of secretariat staff led by CEO Ezra Chiloba bungled the August 8th election. Akombe says Chiloba's decision to take leave ahead of the fresh election is of little consequence as it will not guarantee a free and fair election. Former IBC Commissioner Rosalind Akombe continued to speak out against what she says were wrongs, dogging the commission, and that she could no longer defend, this informing her decision to quit and leave the country. Akombe painted a picture of a commission not only at war within, but had also opened its doors to political interference. Akombe heaped more blame on the IBC secretariat, led by CEO Ezra Chiloba, and what she says was a small clique of secretariat staff serving political interests and who bungled the August election. She claims the Secretariat vetoed almost all of the Commissioner's decisions, making it hard to make progress. These members of the Secretariat, she says, enjoyed political protection, even from the Chairman and Commissioners who tried unsuccessfully to fund them after the election was nullified. Akombe delivered a stinging criticism of the Commission's Secretary, accusing him of misleading the Commission on what was happening to the IBC service that NASA claimed were hacked. Chiloba and his team misled the commissioners about what was happening with the service, she says, and when the chairman recommended their dismissal, he was outvoted. She dismissed his decision to take a three-week leave of absence, saying it came too late in the hour to be of any consequence. She says it would only have made a difference after the Supreme Court ruling. Akombe holds it is still not possible to hold a credible election under the current circumstances. She asks, how could you claim you've had elections when probably half the country has boycotted the election or there is so much violence that people fear for their lives and therefore stay away from the polling stations? She called on both the president and NASA leader Raila Odinga to dialogue. 